rise of Democratic Socialist Bernie Sanders as the front runner. It figures to be a talking point throughout the campaign. We're likely going to hear about it from Mayor Bloomberg on Monday. So Fox News put out this article supposedly debunking socialism, which is absolutely hilarious. Because just take a look at the myths that they decided to debunk. The first myth is that, that Karl Marx, the father of socialism, was a great thinker. They apparently debunked this by just simply stating that they think that Marx isn't irrelevant today and saying that, oh, his ideas all failed. But the truth of the matter is, is that is complete nonsense. But let's start off with some of the capitalist thinkers of the world. First and foremost, there's Adam Smith. Adam Smith very much admitted that wages would be driven down under capitalism and also, by the way, hated landlords. But you see, Adam Smith's vision of capitalism completely fell apart and basically every intellectual of the last century came to the conclusion that capitalism had failed. During the Great Depression, capitalism had failed so hard that a whole crop of ideologists started to gain popularity, specifically in response to the failure of capitalism. When capitalism fell, they were like, oh God, what are we gonna do now? And the three things that came up to replace capitalism were Keynesianism, socialism, and fascism. Fascism was all about privatizing everything, and I think we all know how that went. Socialism was all about government management of the economy for the benefit of the public. And now Keynesianism was really reformed form of capitalism, which said, yeah, we can have some capitalism, but we have to make sure that the state is managing that capitalism to make sure that economic growth continues to happen. And that Keynesian system is basically what we have today. It's this reformed capitalism. And if you're thinking to yourself, Ben, this capitalism doesn't feel reformed. And that's because Keynes's ideas were basically abandoned when people like Milton Friedman came around. And the thing about Milton Friedman is they tried his ideas. If you want to know how much this free market capitalism really works, just go ask Chile and how well they did under Augusto Pinochet. So if we're talking about capitalist thinkers, the truth of the matter is, is they've all been miserable failures. And there's always been consensus that capitalism was a miserable failure, at least for the past hundred years. The only question at this point is what the response is to. Democrats want to cling onto this Keynesian system, which fundamentally has kind of failed to provide for most people. And then Republicans are latching onto fascism. Only they're saying that it is capitalism. Libertarians, I want to be clear, are also just fascists because once again, they really love privatization. Privatization is what they talk about all the time. And if you remember what I said a minute ago, privatization was the central economic theory of fascism. The second myth is that socialism places the hands in the power of the people. Apparently they think that socialism really is all about these corrupt elites leading the government. But let's take a look at these socialist countries. Look at China with 95% approval. Look at Cuba. They just rewrote their entire constitution just a few years ago and it turns out that the overwhelming majority of people in Cuba support their system. And seriously, how is this a myth exactly? I mean, do you feel empowered under American capitalism today? I mean, nobody wants Kamala Harris and Pete Buttigieg to be the next presidential ticket, and yet that's all the media talks about. You gotta love those capitalist enterprises that are making huge profits and begging for Pete Buttigieg and Kamala Harris to be in charge. Meanwhile, everybody else is just saying, healthcare, please? And talking about popular support, did I mention that Cuba actually has a LGBTQ only hotel and resort? If you're talking about putting the power in the hands of the people, that sounds like something people would do if you put power in their hands. I know I for one would love to go to that resort. But hey, maybe capitalism does put power in the hands of people. That is, of course, people named Kirsten Cinema. And my condolences to literally everyone else, though. Now, the third myth that they mention is saying that socialism is working in Denmark and other Scandinavian countries. And to a certain extent, I would also agree that that is a myth. Because let's be clear, those are, in fact, capitalist countries. But the reason why they have healthcare and all of those social programs and benefits is because they were right next to the Soviet Union and people were literally so terrified, the capitalists were literally so terrified in those countries of the gains that were seen in the Soviet Union and the idea that people would revolt and demand a Soviet style system that they put in place all of these concessions to stop people from revolting. They were literally getting jealous of the progress of the USSR and tried to replicate their success without ceding their capitalist system. In fact, you might not know this, but 
there were a bunch of miners from the UK that actually went to the USSR. And when they went to the USSR, they were amazed that there were not children working in the mines. And in fact, their biggest complaint about the mining system in the USSR was the fact that women were not only allowed in the mines, but there were some women who were foremen. Oh no, how dare they live in such an evil society that let women work in the mines. And so it's no wonder when you had 14 and 15 year olds literally dying in the mines in the UK, why workers would look to a system like the USSR and say, man, maybe we should get ourselves some of that. And that is why those social democratic systems have the benefits that they do, because there were so many workers that were able to just go a few miles away and see that development that happened under a socialist system. And they got jealous. So yeah, those countries were desperate to play catch up with the Soviet Union. They're still capitalists, but the reason why Fox News is trying to debunk this myth is for complete nonsense reasons. And the last myth that they try to debunk is saying that socialism has never failed because it's never truly been tried. And again with this one, to a certain extent, I agree. Like this one is actually a myth. Socialism has been tried. There are socialist countries that exist in the world today. I think socialists make a mistake by trying to play this one true Scotsman situation regarding socialism. Because let's take a look at these socialist countries and what they did succeed at. For starters, let's just ask the question of who won the space race. I think the answer to that is pretty clear. The USSR. I mean, sure, the United States got to the moon, but the USSR did pretty much everything else first. Not to mention the fact that the USSR had very revolutionary computer technology and the first cell phones. In fact, a lot of the institutions that we have in the United States, like NASA and DARPA, were attempts to replicate the Soviet bureaucracy that industrialized Russia so fast that when the Germans invaded, they were shocked to see what they thought were peasant farmers driving back at them with tanks, which eventually sent the Germans back all the way back to Berlin with their tails between their legs. So if we're talking about successful socialist countries, the USSR in that regard was very clearly successful, and there's no denying that. Another perfect example is looking at China right now. Average wages in China have almost tripled over the past 10 years. And look at Cuba. Cuba's had to face unbelievable amount of sanctions from the United States, and the United States is actively trying to star them out. And yet, Cuba still has a thriving economy, and they are standing strong. Especially when you look at their COVID response. China, Cuba, and Vietnam are all world leaders in terms of responding to coronavirus. And while many Americans look at China and say, oh my god, look at their lockdowns, isn't that horrible? The truth of the matter is, you wouldn't be getting all of the random stuff that you keep ordering from Amazon if it wasn't for the lockdowns that China is doing to keep those supply chains operational. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to stay up to date with my content, you can follow me at Benjamin Corollo on Twitter. And for those of you that might be wondering or have noticed, my pronouns are in fact she, her.